Hello students, this video is going to teach you how to handle the guided notes that are assignments in your U.S. history class. So you can see we're inside the course right now and we're going to expand the folder that holds the content. You'll notice that before each tutorial and mastery test, there is a set of guided notes. You are going to want to download these notes before you start interacting with the tutorial. You can also print these and fill them out by hand. So we're going to click on our first set of guided notes. Your instructions are typed out right here so that you can refer back to them later. You can either click on the attachments key here or simply scroll down to open the guided notes with whatever software your machine uses. I work on a Mac, so mine is called Preview. So I'm going to open those guided notes and then I'm going to save them to my machine. Oh, and since I've already saved them, I'm not going to be prompted where to save them. I save my stuff on the desktop for easy finding. Most machines are going to default to your downloads. So just be aware you need to save them where you can find them. And then you can go ahead and click this next activity key down here on the right hand side of your screen. You can also use the caret arrow up here to get to the next activity. So the next activity is the tutorial. We're going to click on that link. If it gives you a message that you're logged out, simply close the tab and open it again. It's just a busy signal. And then you will see the tutorial and the mastery test. The tutorial is what you will use to fill out those guided notes. So you're going to open the tutorial. <clears throat> and then as you work through the tutorial, as you read the information, you will notice that the answers are given to you as you read. In the decades following World War, in the decades following World War, so this answer would be one. These cells are fillable, so you'll just click inside that cell, that line, and type one. And then so on and so forth. You'll fill out these items as you read this material. If you're going to come back to this document a couple different times, if you're going to work on it, you know, not all at once, make sure that you save your changes so that your, you know, all your answers inside these areas will be saved. Once you get all the way to the end of the tutorial and fill out your guided notes, you are going to come back to Buzz and you'll use your previous activity key or your caret arrow key, whichever one you prefer, to come back to the Dropbox for that assignment. <clears throat> if you, since you are a student, you will see um, attach, you know, attach my work here. Since I'm not a student, you won't see that key, but you'll click on attach my work. You'll go and find that file and then you will click submit my work for that assignment to be submitted to Mr. Haddikin for grading.